What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through the Team Galactic uh, HQ, finished up some stuff right there, and we got ourselves something pretty useful, and that is a bike. Now, all we gotta do is register this little sucker, and we will be able to uh, ride along pretty well right here. Now, before we do anything, I kind of want to go check out something right here, guys. Uh, now that we got cut, we can go right here, right behind this whole area, and go straight into what's beyond right here. And, well, what's going to happen is, yes, this is this is awesome. You will be finding some extra, po or extra berries right here. So let's go right ahead and pick those berries off. There we go. Berries again. And another berry, two raspberries. And what else? Yes, these bull blood berries. And I think there is a person right here that will give you some kind of item. So let's go ahead and talk to this person. Oh, are you collecting accessories? I've got something for you. We got ourselves a big tree. That's right, the big tree. And well, here is a uh, hidden item, and that is a silver powder, a very useful item for any kind of bug type Pokemon. And here we found ourselves the TM82 Sleep Talk. That right there is also pretty awesome. And, well, this will lead you to straight back to Route 205, Route 204, 205, before you hit the Eterna Forest. Now, the next place we have to go to, I did say we we're going to go straight to the Cycling Road, but there is a little something I kind of want to do. We're going to go back into the Eterna Forest. So, before we do anything, guys, I'll be right back with you. I'm getting a little bit of a text message yet again. Okay, so we're back, guys. Yes, I know. I keep on getting text messaged. I'm very, very popular. So, anywho, here we are in the Eterna Forest. And to our surprise, or, yeah, Gardena's right here. And look at her. She's like, Hiya, were you intrigued by the rumors going around, too? You know, people have been talking about ghost Pokemon in the old Jatau. Or Chateau, Chateau, I should say. I've been hearing rumors about Sinister Shadows, too. I would check it out myself, but going in there is, well, you know, being that I'm a gym leader and I'm always busy. Um, so, since I am so busy, I can't go in. It's not because I'm scared, so <laughs> uh, good luck to your investigation. Yeah, she's scared. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to be manly men, and we're going to have to go in straight into the old chateau. And as you guys can see, it is very shadowy. It is very scary. And the, you can actually find some items right here, like an ether. That's always nice. And, well, let's see. There might be... You can find, you can find some extra Pokemon right here, too, including ghost types. I remember there was once like a rumor of a, uh, you can actually capture yourself a, uh, what was it called, a Gengar in here. So here we are in the old chateau, yes, a scary place it can be, and you can, yeah, you're not mistaken, you will be finding some rare Pokemon, not rare Pokemon, but you will be finding some uh, ghost type Pokemon right here, and well, here we have Ghastly, so what's going to happen is we're going to spark it, and there it goes, okay, so... There we go. We're going to grab this. And we found ourselves a rare candy. A much needed item. And, well, let's go ahead and take a look at the trash cans right here. And, yes, we're going to try and capture a... We're going to try and capture a Ghastly. Mainly because, well, you know, it, it could be useful later on in our adventure. So, let's go right ahead. And... Do, 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 do. You know what? Let's go right ahead and go with the Great Ball. And, just like that, we caught ourselves a Ghastly. As you guys can see, Ghastly the Gas Pokemon, Ghost and Poison, born from gases, anyone who uh, would faint if engulfed by his gaseous body, which contains a poison. So it's basically a living fart. I'm, I'm thinking that. So, as many of you guys already know, we're going to nickname this Pokemon Smoke from Mortal Kombat. Yes. And there we go. Now, like I was saying before, when I first started playing this game... When I got big back into Pokemon, I remember that there was like a fake rumor or rumor about like a Gengar, a wild Gengar being here, and I tried my hardest to actually find it, and I don't know, it, to me it seemed like a fake, uh, kind of like a fake thing, correct me if I'm wrong guys, and there we go, we found ourselves a big pearl, that could be useful right there, and uh, well, let's see, 
let's go right ahead and continue on our adventure right here now again there is a scary little place right here where you will be able to find yourself a ghost and nothing is uh, here except for book and photo collections and there is nothing right there and how did our repel just worn off like I don't even know okay so let's go right ahead and move on ahead right here and see where we're at so the O Chateau go in here and this will actually locate the old gateau or gateau gateau I don't even know what that is but I know it's pretty rare it's the one of its kind I hope so here we are in the extra rooms of the old chateau and uh, eventually you're gonna be finding yourself something here we have a dread plate there is a text engraved in the back of the obtained plate when the universe was created its shards became the plate and well shards plates everything it's gonna become a, a norm here in Pokemon Platinum and if you guys can see eventually you're gonna be finding yourself like a scary moment part right here where there's a uh, there is a uh, what was it called um, a uh, ghost girl right here I can't remember in Pokemon X and Y that actually happens Pokemon I don't even know what other version it does but as you guys can see right here this photo looks at us all mean and everything yes it's scary as hell holy crud okay so let's see where we're at right here and we're gonna grab this TM90 substitute now that room onto the left side right there that right there was a uh, <laughs> that right there was the room that they said you could capture the Gengar don't know what happened I am gonna go into this room not that room right here but we're gonna go into this room right here because there is a specific Pokemon into this into this whole uh, TV right here. So what we're gonna do right now is gonna save this game, and we're gonna try and make sure not to make this Pokemon faint. Thankfully, we got a Rosemont onto our team, so let's go right ahead and do that too. Let's see. Okay, so there we go, and it's gonna be on the TV. Inside the TV, there appears to be a Pokemon. The Pokemon appears to be appears as if it will come out. Want to thump the TV? Yes. And there it is. Our in-game legendary Pokemon, Rotom. So here we have Rotom, guys. Eventually, it becomes kind of like a staple of Pokemon in general, mainly because, well, it, it, it starts going into our technology. It basically goes into our technology. It does a... Uh, it messes with them and all that stuff and like I said if you guys have played Pokemon let's see Pokemon Sword and Shield Pokemon uh, Scarlet and Violet so I hear and oh my god this guy is really messing us up okay so let's go with a nest ball right here and yeah this Pokemon is going with an uproar so yeah yeah this Pokemon is messing us up let's go straight to Rosemon right here and see if we can get a magical leaf and it is now paralyzed so the Rotom has has calmed down so like I was saying guys you can there we go got it so eventually you'll see Rotom just be in our Pokedexes in our bikes anything techno technological it will be there and uh, well look at this Rotom the plasma Pokemon both electric and ghost its electric like body can enter some kinds of machines and take control in order to make mischief and well like I said it becomes a staple of our little of our, of our little uh, society right here so that right there is how we capture Rotom and well let's get the F out of here in fact I'm gonna be using a uh, an escape rope because yes I oh come on yes I was gonna say let's use an escape rope I really really don't want to be in here especially with the music creeping me out yeah like I feel the chills Get the F out. And there it is, guys. We have survived. We have caught ourselves a Rotom. And, well, let's go right ahead and get the heck out of here. Okay, so... That was pretty much it right there for this episode. I think. Yes. Okay, so... Anywho... Lexi, is there anything else that we need to do? No, not really. It is nighttime, and yes, well... In the next episode, we're going to be going straight into the cycling road, and we're going to be taking care of business there. 
you know, now that we got the experience here, I think good things are going to happen. So thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for uh, being supportive, as always. I do have a merch store down below. If you guys have any suggestions for any kind of other merch, yes, I will provide it right there. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys next time.